What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, in today's video, I get this question asked so many times, bro. You know what I'm saying? And as you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about my MyLink system and just going over all of the options and stuff that it has. Because every time I post on my Instagram, you know what I'm saying, on my story, like a little POV or something, Everybody asks me how the hell I get to turn my navigation system on. So, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all today, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody keeps asking me for this. So, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the little goddamn preview. You know what I'm saying? Give you the whole shit. All right, y'all. So, real quick, you know what I'm saying? I want to just give y'all a quick little walk around the Mamba real quick, man. Because, you know, he looking real crazy right now. This is what I get to see when the sun comes up. Look at them shits. Oh my God, bro. Sheesh. Can we get a sheesh in the chat, boys? Can we get a sheesh in the chat, boys? Okay, let's go ahead and hop in the car. All right, y'all, so inside Mamba now, right? I wanna go ahead and show you guys the screen itself and what it says. And this is how you gonna know if you have the navigation or not. If it does not have that nav button right there, bro, you do not have that option, bro. All right, you know what I'm saying? It sucks, but it's true. What's is gonna have a replacement of the nav button and the desk button is probably gonna be some more of like the pause play buttons on this side. So you know how you got the seek right here? I think it's like fast forward or go rewind or something right there. But if you do have that nav button right there, then you got the same system I got, the system that comes in the 2SS. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key. Now, the compressor's gonna kick on and the tank's gonna fill up, but, you know what I'm saying, just letting y'all know. So you get the little animation on the screen. Those are the compressors. They're not gonna take that long, but they'll be on for a little bit. Get the little animation on the screen, you know what I'm saying, then boom. It does that for a little bit. We're gonna turn the volume all the way off, cause no copyright, brother. You know what I'm saying? So we let that finish, you know what I'm saying, doing this little loading phase. Many unbearable hours later. Okay. I was gonna turn it on, but it's cool, it popped up now. So basically, boom, you know what I'm saying? This is what you see with the Navi joint. Now you got options when you hit the nav button. So you can hit that joint and make the whole little stuff disappear. You hit it again and make the little, it'll show you what you're listening to on this side and then split it up. You hit that joint one more time and it goes back to that regular setting. Now, what you can do, what I did to make it black at all times, I just made the car think that it's nighttime the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what it looks like with the lights on. So you hit the reverse, right? And then you can go ahead and press home, you know what I'm saying? And now you got tone. Everybody asks me about my sound system. I got the Boston Premium Auto, because I got the 2SS. So, you know what I'm saying? This is my sentence right here. You guys, like a lot of people be wanting to know, bro. So this is my sentence right here, bro. This is how I got it set up. Let me make sure this shit focus. There we go. You know what I'm saying? So this is my setup right here. That's how I got it set up. So if you really want to get your sound system sounding right, bro, and you got the Boston joint, Boston joint, go ahead and hit that move right there. Okay? All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back again. So then we go next, right? Boom. These are all the little apps I got. You know what I'm saying? I don't use Pandora, so I don't have that. Um, the FM, the XM, the navigation, the now playing, the phone, the AM. Sorry about the beeping in the back, y'all. Let me close the door because that shit can annoy. Anyway. So, boom. You got the USB, you got the aux, you got the Bluetooth, you got the config, you got the destination, you got the weather, you got the movies, you got the gas. So, a cool feature, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you run out of gas, bro, I think I got a video from when I first got the car. Whenever you run out of gas, bro, and you get that little notification on here and on the heads up display that say you ain't got no miles, uh... <laughs> The, the map will actually pop out all the gas stations that's close to you, bro. And whenever there's like a amber alert or whatever with the weather, 
it'll pop up, you feel me, I don't got that shit, like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, like the, what's it called, the membership or nothing, so I can't just click on the weather and see it no more, but, like, if there's, like, a thunderstorm and you driving towards it or some shit, it'll pop up on there, bro, and then you want to get the movies and all that, but I think you gotta have that subscription, I don't got that, and then apparently I can upload pictures to this joint and have a screen server, like the car be the screen server, but I don't feel like doing all that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to that, it's not that deep for me. Uh, <laughs> so then, you know, you can customize all that or whatnot, and then you hit home again, boom, you feel me? It's just, that's it, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, bro, like, it's it's really that simple. Then to go back to the Navi, all I do is hit the Nav button again. Then, boom, we back on the Navi, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that's that's really it, bro. It's, it's nothing crazy. All right, y'all, so, with all that being said, bro, I'm being 100% honest with y'all, there is some good things about having the MyLink system. You know what I'm saying? You got the Navi, it looks cool while you're driving and all of that, and that's cool and whatnot. However, bro, if you have the regular system, bro, like even the regular one with the buttons and all that, no screen, bro, just keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. If you're thinking about upgrading to the MyLink system, bro, it's not worth the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest with you because I remember when I had Hazel, it was a base model, it was a V6, the base model moved, so I had the regular Degler radio when no buttons and i was thinking about upgrading to the mylink system but bro there's so many quirks with the mylink system and i talked about some of these in my five things i hate about this car video but one of the things is basically bro like on the bluetooth when the bluetooth is connected if you don't have the song like fully downloaded like via apple you know what i'm saying if you switch from one song to another or you select a different song in a different album or something like that you have to press pause on the song and then press play again. Like, you got to double tap the song for it to play. Um, then, apparently, now this hasn't happened to me yet, so you know what I'm saying? I'm going to knock on wood, you feel me? <laughs> knock on wood, you feel me? Because some people say that apparently their modeling systems will just cut out. Like, you'll be playing music and then all of a sudden they'll just stop playing the music. Like, the music will still be playing on your phone, but you just can't hear it no more. I don't know bro it hasn't happened to me yet hopefully i don't have to go through that there so i'm gonna be honest with y'all man get in the my link system if you don't already have it not worth go ahead and get you something that has apple carplay or something like that a more updated system you feel me the reason why i'm keeping mine is because i just love the stock factory look um you know what i'm saying i really wish i could add apple carplay to it if you know how to do that bro let me know down in the comment section down below also if this video was helpful for you bro let me know in the comment section down below, man. Give this video a big thumbs up. That way I know I can keep dropping like some tips and tricks and whatnot videos for y'all. If y'all really liking them and you rocking with them, bro, and if it's helping you out. I know a lot of you guys are looking to get Camaros right now, so you feel me? Y'all are really searching up these Camaro videos and these how-tos and these tips and all that. So let me know what you guys want to know, man. You feel me? I've had Mamba. This is now my second fifth gen Camaro, man. I've had Mamba for about a year now. And before that, I had Hazel for like two to three. So... With that being said, bro, I know like a little bit about the 5th Gen platform, so if you guys really want to know more information and stuff like that, bro, just ask your questions in the comment section down below, or DM me on Instagram at J.I. Productions underscore, it pops up on the screen. Also, I'm doing a cash giveaway on my couples channel. Once we hit 1K subscribers and 1K followers on Instagram, Joy and Joel, I'm gonna be doing a hundred and fifty dollar, no, a hundred dollar giveaway. My bad, I'm getting ahead of myself and moving forward. I'm thinking about my boy back to the money and his giveaway. If you guys are interested, make sure you go over to his page, get him to 1500, and then you know what I'm saying, you can get a hundred and fifty dollar cash giveaway. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all stay tuned, like I said at 1k on instagram and youtube for the couples channel i am giving a hundred dollar cash gift card or just give you cash whatever you want to do i'll send it to you it don't matter you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys go tap in over there and make sure you're subscribed over here you feel me but without further ado that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button like i said give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>